Hello, my name is Svetlana Melnik, and I am a lecturer in the Department of Slavic and East European Languages in, in, at Indiana University. And uh, I teach Russian and Ukrainian. Hi, my name is Veronica Trotter. I have taught Russian for many years. Currently, I work as an assistant to the Slavic librarian at Indiana University. Uh, today, we are going to share with you a successful case study created in the framework of project-based language learning. As part of our content-based course, Russian for the Social Sciences, we asked our students to create Wikipedia pages. More specifically, they researched, wrote, and published a series of Russian language Wikipedia pages about notable African Americans whose lives were connected with Russia. What is project-based learning? Project-based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an authentic, engaging, and complex question, problem, or challenge. We can identify key components of this process. Students work on a project over an extended period of time. They engage in solving a real-world problem, performing a real-world task. They apply their skills and develop new ones by creating a socially meaningful project. What are the criteria for successful project-based language learning? The Bach Institute for Education has created a comprehensive research-based model for PBL, a gold standard with essential project design elements. Our project is designed with all these elements and meets the gold standard. Challenging problem or question. Both the topic and the task were challenging. Writing a Wikipedia article requires students to increase their proficiency in Russian. Sustain inquiry. Students conducted sustained inquiry using the target language. Authenticity. Working with authentic texts was a requirement for the project. Students' voice and choice. Students were encouraged to choose a person from a prepared list, as well as to choose their own source of information. Reflection. Students had the opportunity to provide their reflections in a questionnaire and during the final mini-conference. Critique and revision. The students' work was evaluated through instructors' assessment, peer assessment, self-assessment, and revision. And finally, public product. Students created a public product. Wikipedia articles. Let me start with a short backstory about the project. The idea and the topic came to me after attending a roundtable on school university partnerships in Russian language at the ACES convention in 2017. One of the participants mentioned that minority high school students do not engage with Russia or other parts of Eastern Europe because of the lack of diversity in Slavic studies. It's not a secret that Slavic studies is a rather wide field and is not always welcoming to minorities. I started thinking about how I, as a librarian, can contribute to the diversification of Slavic studies and decided, as a start, to create a LibGuide that features resources on African Americans in Russia. Here is the LibGuide that I created. Please feel free to use it. While working on this, I noticed that Russian Wikipedia has articles only about the most well-known African Americans, such as Angela Davis, Paul Robson, or Elena Hunga. At first, I planned to write the missing articles myself, but then I decided that it would be more beneficial to involve advanced Russian students. Why Wikipedia? Wikipedia is the world's largest free source of information. Every year, it's one of the 10 most used websites in the world and the only non-profit organization among them. Wikipedia positions itself as a teaching tool and provides numerous resources to support teaching with Wikipedia. Please find a list of some of them at the end of the presentation. You can learn more about benefits and challenges of using Wikipedia as a teaching tool here. Of course, Wikipedia is not an uncontroversial resource. One line of criticism highly relevant to this project is its racial and gender bias. 
On the English language Wikipedia, women are featured in less than 20% of biographical articles. Wikipedia also suffers from a paucity of information about black history. These gaps constitute a serious issue, since to many people, a topic does not exist if it doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Lately, Wikipedia and other organizations have initiated efforts to rectify the racial and gender imbalance through editor thons, especially during Black History Month or Women's History Month. And our project is a modest contribution to the rectification of Wikipedia in this respect. As mentioned before, the project was part of the Russian for the Social Sciences content-based course and counted as 25% of the final grade. Of the nine students who participated in the project, one was a heritage speaker enrolled in high school, four were undergraduates, and four were graduate students. The project consisted of several stages. For completion of each stage, the students got a certain number of points. The students selected the following people to research and write about. This is our final product. At the end of the semester, the students created Wikipedia pages. And let us show you two pages as an example. Here is the page about Louise Alone Thompson Patterson, an American social activist and college professor. And the next one here. Uh, this is the page about Richard Greener, the first African-American graduate of Harvard College and the United States commercial agent in Vladivostok. Also, at the end of the project, we organized a mini conference and distributed a questionnaire where we asked students to reflect on their own work. Here are some qualitative data. As you can see, the students responded that the project was useful for them. As the charts show, students felt that they improved their writing and translating skills. The response about reading skills is slightly different, but this can be explained by the fact that two students were not able to find many resources in Russian. As the responses indicate, two students struggled to find resources for the project. On this slide, we can see that they learned a lot about the topic. They felt like they made valuable contribution to the Russian language Wikipedia. Unfortunately, three students had difficulty uploading and formatting their articles. We are especially pleased with this response. We constantly worked with the students and they received our comments on how to improve their research. And finally, a majority of the students recommend a similar project for other language classes. We would also like to share with you some students' testimonials from the questionnaire. We were also interested in the challenges that our students experienced during the project. It was important for us to identify areas for improvement. Based on our experience and students' feedback, we would recommend the following adjustments. Talk more explicitly in class about how to evaluate the quality of resources in general. Schedule individual meetings with students to discuss the resources they find. Schedule a class session, probably in English, on Wikipedia editing. We did provide a lot of instructional materials, booklets and links both in English and Russian on Wikipedia editing, but it wasn't enough for everybody. Here you can find more information about project-based language learning and about Wikipedia as a teaching tool. В заключение я хотела сказать, что мне понравился этот проект, потому что мне кажется, что Википедия — это а, как бы часть нашей жизни, которую мы а, используем, может быть, каждодневно, но не очень много думаем о том, какая работа вкладывается в то, чтобы написать статью для Википедии, а, и что, что нужно сделать, какую нужно информацию найти. И мне это очень понравилось, потому что теперь каждый раз, когда я буду смотреть статью, я буду знать, что вложилось в то, чтобы написать эту статью. И тоже просто для меня это мне очень помогло с нахождением разных статей, с переводом с английского на русский и просто с тем, чтобы читать более сложные тексты по-русски. Значит... Поэтому это была моя самая большая трудность, 
в этом процессе. Но вообще мне понравился процесс, и, может быть, дальше в моей жизни я буду писать больше статей, но посмотрим. Больше всего, что мне понравилось, что число слов в англоязычной статье там 420, а статьи на русском языке у меня было тысяча больше тысячи. Да, ну мне вообще понравилось, я много выучила, а мне казалось, что он такой классный детка. И я рекомендую будущим студентам. Я могу вам показать. Да, 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 и более того, я научилась писать на русском языке с более техническим стилем. И я надеюсь, что моя статья, моя статья поможет э, российским историкам, которые интересуют, интересуются этой темой. Спасибо за внимание. Сколько российских источников было написано, что он э, приехал в Россию в то время с этой группой, но я думаю, что это не было правда, потому что он сказал, что он уже там жил, и он вообще не участвовал в этом, в этом процессе, просто наблюдал что, то, что происходило. А был сложный проект, но было очень полезный, и а, я, бы, я бы рекомендовала а, повторить этот процесс, потому что для меня это был очень м, интересный проект, это был шанс отдать хоть маленькое что-нибудь что языку, который так сильно влияет на мою жизнь. А также это было очень полезно для меня как студентка, студенткой, потому что эм, была возможность э, выучить очень много, но также э, работать над проектом особого стиля. Стил я. И я думаю, что это было очень полезно для совершенствования моего языка. We appreciate your interest in this project and welcome your questions, comments and recommendations. And please feel free to contact us. Thank you very much. Thank you.